some people seem like they want to support non-Muslims against the Muslims instead of supporting Muslims. It seems like from their wordings and actions and it's even worse when it's those who are supposed to be in the Dawah scene um, who are seen as some sort of authority in Islam um, and we've seen a lot of that during the current genocide where people they, they choose not to boycott and then they say things about uh, not boycotting and here we have Faris a part of his tweet says the fundamental principles regarding quotas to deviance is that we desert them and do not cooperate with them <clears throat> if you just take that first part or, or, or there's more to it but I'm not going to read it or I've just read quotas to deviance is that we desert them now those non-Muslims who are murdering our brothers and sisters they're not called us to deviance they are non-Muslim altogether so you rather support the non-Muslims um, to a murdering our brothers and sisters when you know um, some money goes towards them wherever you buy so you don't want to boycott and you know it's effective but you want to desert Muslims and you, you didn't say um, the fundamental principle regarding non-Muslims you said called to deviance so unless you want to say this individual that you're speaking by is not Muslim, we are saying he's a Muslim. So you want to, in a sense, boycott a Muslim, but not boycott non-Muslim organisations and things that are funding the murder of our brothers and sisters. And Sheikh Yasir al Hanafi says, Muslims who meet Muslims from other denominations should be deserted, but we shouldn't speak against boycotting the Zionists. We should say in person impermissible to do so it's clear by now the mad the madhalites are destroying the ummah within um you can do the fatwa gymnastics and the fiqh and all of that and pretend you found a way to say that you should be sure of boycott but we've seen the impacts of boycotting and we've got proofs that we can't boycott and it is the right thing to do but you said you don't want to and that is your choice but you want to now not boycott brands which are potentially in some cases are definitely contributing towards murdering, murdering our brothers and sisters you don't want to boycott those brands but you want to boycott a Muslim and according to you this person is still a Muslim because you have not said he's a non-Muslim you have said the fundamental principles regarding quarters to deviance quarters to deviance does not mean that person is a non-Muslim um, so you want to boycott Muslims rather than uh, companies that are um, contributing um, indirectly or directly uh, towards the murder of our brothers and sisters. Some which are, we've got definite proof that they are, others which potentially could be. Is this, a, is this what um, Islam is about? Is this what you are about? Supporting not only um, supporting non Muslims, you are supporting non Muslims to the detriment of the Muslims and then not only are you doing that now you want to um, bring down a Muslim and hopefully with a debate challenge has been um, set out hopefully you accept that debate challenge because you need to be held accountable and you need, your ignorance needs to be shown and you need to think about what you do and what you say and not only are you speaking about uh, Sheikh Yasser al Hanafi, you, whether you're directly or indirectly, you're speaking about others like Ustad Abu Taymi al Jailani. You're indirectly attacking him, and if it's not about him, then I apologize, but so most people will say it's about him. Um, and so you're not only attacking other people, you're attacking people within yourselves. This is what Madhuris um, do. They attack other sort of his. Only their one strand in their shed, in their garden, is right and everybody else is wrong. It seems like this, this, this is now is the end time of this cult. Everyone's seeing you for who you are during this current genocide.